on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> As we open up to Izuku in the hospital, handcuffed with Inko, All Might, Eraserhead, and Bakugo there. He's looking very scared and also wondering, like, what's going on here? Inko being silent, All Might is like, <coughs> well, how should I put this? You kind of, sort of, you unlocked your damn quirk. Excuse me. Bongo pulling up a V on his phone of Yuzuku turning into a uh, pretty much lightning imbued rage filled uh, <laughs> brawler. In which, yes, then Yuzuku gets a better look at himself. Be a, a good, very good mirror, in which he sees that his muscles have actually started to develop more. He's bulkier, and he's, what happened to me? <sighs> you know what? You are such an idiot. Sometimes you got your damn quirk. Really? Inko still looking surprised and being silent. All Might just nodding his head yes. So, wait, what is it? We have no idea. Uh, what were you feeling when, you, when this happened? As in, Isuku gets flashes. Of the last things he saw before he technically blacked out. Which is Bago terrified. Sludgeon smiling his ass off. All might not be able to do anything. Heroes not being able to do anything. Everyone just watching as everything goes down. He snapped. And rightfully so. Don't watch his uh, quirk. Oh, uh, I got very protective and angry. So you just want to save young Bakugo here? Yes. But why am I handcuffed? Oh, well, um... Uh, how should I put this? You started attacking the heroes. What? Yeah. After you see... Mm. Huh? After you see... After you... Um... Helped... Me... Let me say it. Shut the fuck up. After you helped me, you got angry at the heroes. And started to attack them. What? Yeah. I think they're still in the hospital. This one? Oh no, they refused to go to this hospital because you were brought here. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, I, I'm so sorry. No, don't say sorry to me. Say sorry to them. You traumatized their asses. Oh. Huh. 
Huh. Well, um, so now what? <sighs> well, I guess I can allow you to go to my school. As Miski just smacks him outside the head. Bitch, that ain't your school. I mean, what do you mean, allow him? Explain yourself. As then Bago looks at Izuku. He's like, don't you dare say a damn thing. Izuku. Hmm. Miski giving Izuku the deadliest of death glare mixed with stink eyes. He's like, you better tell me something. Inko looking worried. Might as well. Him explaining the years of abuse dealt to him by Bakugo and his crones. So, Miski finally hearing this, you can imagine his pissed. Hella pissed. To the point where she's like, are you serious? You know what? Allow me to talk to my son in private. As she just pulls him by the ear and you can hear a shit ton of yelling with a bogo calling a certain someone a hag and a lot of punches being thrown. Uh... Well, that's done. So, young Midoriya, you asked if you could become a hero. Yeah. Well, I don't see why not. Really? You seem to be more than capable. Thank you. As then Izuku then gets a little emotional. But then he remembers what All Might said before as he just gets a little angry. He's like, okay, so wait. You said I couldn't be here before. What? Uh... Well, yes, but th that was because I didn't have a quirk. Yes. So you just changed your mind all because now I have power? Uh, well, of course. I mean, he seemed to let you start to spark up his skin, start to turn red, and so. All because I got power now, you decided to change your mind. Say, so, yeah, you can become a hero. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you know what? Oh my, thank you. Huh? Thank you for having specific conditions to finally acknowledge that I can be a hero. Is Inko shocked just hearing this? Like, well, wait, what's going on here? Izuku just rising up from his hospital bed. Him still starting to change, undergo anger, pissed offiness. All my trying is like, okay, okay, calm down. Izuku breaks out the handcuffs, which even scares All my a little bit. Like, wait, those those were meant for to. Then Aizawa chimes in. It's like, <clears throat> hmm, what? Yeah, sorry, kid, but I cannot allow you to start a fight with All Might. <sighs> well, 
What are you going to do if I do start a fight with him? I'll stop you. Do you think you can? Aizawa? As he tries to use his quirk, but it... It doesn't work. Shocking him and All Might, Inko just holding her mouth like, oh my god. Izuku has a devious smile on his face as he looks right at All Might and socks him right in his weak spot. I'm not kidding. All Might debuffs right then and there in front of Inko and just as this happens he's coughing up blood and Kaski and Miski show back up at, with uh, you know Bago has the bruises the cuts he's got a couple black eyes you know and sees small might him wondering what the fuck as then he sees Izuku Oh no. I've put up with your bull for so long. Me see seeing this. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is about the time where I should vacate. Guys, he said uh, like, well, Mom, aren't you going to do something? Uh, do what? Hmm? What, what do you expect me to do? All Might's gone, and whoever that man is, just, uh, is clearly injured. So I should just take him to the nearest doctor's office or whatnot, the nearest hospital, away from this. As yes, she runs out there with everyone else, leaving Bakugo with Izuku, and uh, Bakugo's injured a little bit. He can use his quirk all he wants, but he doesn't know how well that's going to actually work against Izuku when he's like this. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's all to a coin flip. At the end, Izuku wakes up, but this time he is under heavy guard. Best genius, Miracle, Endeavor, as well as a lot of police with a lot of guns are there now. What happened? As All Might shows up. You got angry again. As then he starts to remember slight bits and pieces. It's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Him being apologetic is a hell trying to walk up to All Might, but he's chained it down. So he can't move. Them just. Listen, you need to control your anger, kid, or else you are going to be a danger to everyone around you every time you want to throw a little tantrum. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry? That's all you got to say is sorry. After what you did. Is yes, just like Izuku would be in canon, he starts crying. The policeman is like, I'm not falling for that shit. Nope, nope, your, your, tear, your tears don't affect me. Nope, uh, as long as I've been employed, there's no way. He's like, oh, wait, those tears are real, aren't they? Looking at all my, he's like, those tears are real? Like, yeah, yes. He's really crying. This is actually affecting him. Yes. He, he just awakened his quirk. 
I said, oh, <coughs> there ain't no quirk. There is no quirk. What? Whatever this is not a quirk. Everyone looking at what are you talking about? I couldn't cancel it. <sighs> oh, please. Uh, just because you can't cancel something doesn't mean it's a, he could just have multiple quirks. Really? Hmm. You really think? Yes. Okay. We'll see about that. It's pretty much yes. You can just imagine Izuku is still crying. All my braving the journey to walk up to him and say that it's okay. I understand that you were very upset. And they wait. What about Kachan? Huh? Oh. He's in the hospital. What? You broke his arm and leg. Really? And several ribs. Fractured skull, broken nose. Let's see, he also busted one of his eardrums. Oh my god. Oh yes, apparently you went to this weird rage. Sort of... Actually, more like a, an ape. What? Yeah, you saw a... To howl like a gorilla, and it's it got weird. You start even beating your chest every so often when you were slumped over him. Oof! Luckily, we had someone over who was good with animals and knew what to do. But still, that was uh, quite the experience. Oh, wait, did they see my weakened self? Yes, you did quite the number on my wound. So, <sighs> yes, luckily there weren't no reporters or anything, so not, so it's not going to be widely known, but I am gonna have to explain this to a lot of other people who saw me in such a state. In which you've been unconscious for about three hours this time, so at the very least. Oh. Again, I am so sorry to note, no need. <sighs> you just awakened your quirk and you didn't know what would happen. That's fine. You didn't know it was going to activate, you just. <sighs> hmm. But it's quite the interesting activation method. You just had to be angry. <sighs> so, at the very least. I would like to train you in controlling it at the moment. All my just lifting up his hand trying to shake Izuku's like, oh wait, you should be unrestrained. Him noticing Izuku grabbing his hand is a like, Huh? Seeing he broke out of his restraints by accident. Uh What? Oh, what, was I not supposed to bring myself out? Like, as a show of power? Heroes are pretty much like, oh my god, what, what is this? Oh my. Oh. Huh. Okay. So I guess now you have super strength. What? Well, clearly, you shouldn't have been able to break out those restraints. And as it seems as 
due to activating in such a way, you actually have now uh, increased base strength. Which will only mean that when you transform into whatever that was, with the yellow eyes, lightning enveloping you, as well as red tinted skin and such, that multiplies your power even more. That is very good information to know. Thank you, young Midoriya. Um, I am so please don't apologize. Please, it, 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 I know you, you don't mean for it to, but it, it's so much worrisome considering that you are not doing this on purpose. It just opens the gates of possibility of what you can do when you are purposely using this power. <sighs> first things first, let's get you situated to your new living quarters. What? But I, I want to go home. No, no, no. I'm sorry, but until you get this power under control, we can't allow you to be out in public as often. At least not without chaperones. What about my mom? She'll be able to visit you, definitely. But mm, you need to be supervised if you ever plan on being out into the real world what as in yes you can imagine Izuku's surprise learning that right now he's not even in Japan right at the moment if anything he's on a special eh, secret facility not Taurus, he's not a prisoner yet, but sees pretty much like what, where, you are not allowed to know that. In fact, if we ever do allow you to go onto the cities or whatnot, towns or whatever, you're going to be blindfolded. What? Yes, we can't allow you to know your location or risk anyone else knowing your location. So we will be thoroughly sure in keeping this place as secret as possible. But, 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 but no need to worry. It's just... Uh, I don't know. As yes... This is pretty much how that that ends for Izuku's day. As for the 10 months of training, yes, Izuku does want to learn how to use his power, but uh, he first needs to get used to his newly found strength before trying to get angry. You need to know how much, at least how big a multiplier this actually is, but I also know how strong he is now. It's one thing to be able to break out of things, but how how strong can he get? Is there a cat to his strength, or can he build upon it and thus increase the multiplier when he goes pure rage? These are good questions. The only thing is... Being cooped up in a facility, just training, is boring. Yes, he's around heroes, which he admires. He's gotten all the autographs and everything. But he's still a kid, well, teenager, either, either or, who still wants to be out in the open. He, he wants to use his new power, yes. But he also wants to at least try living life as a normal normal kid which technically since he 
is now technically has a quirk, he is more normal than he was before. <sighs> so, as much as I would like to say Izuku is behaving as he sh should, he's not. At all. Not in the slightest. Wherever his studies are being, uh, you know, halted, he makes his way off the facility. Only thing is, there are heroes everywhere. He has to get through security cameras, sentry bots, all the like, to pretty much be able to at least have a chance of escaping. Though, yeah, they do allow him to socialize with people, go out to the city every now and again. He tries to escape the hero escorts because they are just gathering so much attention with him just being around them. He doesn't like that. He's still a little shy, but still wants to be more social. Because he sure as hell didn't get much socialization before when he was quirkless. Now, after his 15th attempt, he actually finds him way into a junkyard. Him thinking, okay, this is perfect. No one's going to find me here. Him hearing a noise and like, damn it, and tries to hide. Which he does find one Mei Hatsume. First, he's like, okay, I'm safe. But him seeing her actually having trouble, her not noticing that something is about to crush her right then and there, as he push it out of the way and grabs it. It weighs seven tons as he is barely lifting it. Her, wait, why'd you do that for? Like, wow. Huh? Her looking at what Izuku's holding and is pretty much like, that's what I was looking for. Thank you so much. Huh? Just put it down gently, please. It's like, wait, what? <sighs> can you please put down the big machine so I can extract what I need from it? Uh, sure. As Izuku watches May in amazement that she's not really worried about, she almost died, but oh, just like, this is what you were looking for? Aren't you, aren't you at least a little bit worried or at least uh, taking it back that you almost got crushed by this thing? Eh, if it happens, it happens. You're kind of weird. Eh, I've been called worse. As they get to talking, well, Izuku's talking, Mei is just barely listening as she starts feeling with shit. To the point where he, Izuku kind of actually sees her as someone he could consider a friend. Mei sees him as a possible guinea pig, if not a tester. So... Wherever Izuku does end up escaping his escorts, he looks for Mei. And Mei is more and more surprised, thinking about, okay, so what's with the heroes? Izuku still not wanting to tell her what's going on. Not until it's around the five month mark. And. All Might shows up to take Izuku back to his new home. Her just demanding, okay, explain yourself, and maybe, just maybe I'll listen. Uh, fine. 
him giving her the explanation of how his quirk works and everything to a point where she's like, oh, huh, oh, okay. Oh, see you, see you next time. All my eyes are no. But why not? Well, because he, he's supposed to have an escort. Or so. so, okay, that's fine. Just have his escorts follow him here. We can't allow you to interact with him. Why? We've noticed over the course of this time that he's sustained a few injuries. Oh yeah, some of my babies do explode. What? Well, you have children here? No, my event. She calls her adventures her babies. Which kind of makes sense. You see, she did create them and all, but yeah, it's this whole thing. Oh. Okay, but yes. Uh, no more that. May is kind of upset, but doesn't really show it. Izuku is definitely upset. So like, come on, man, man, please. This is my first friend after everything has happened. I can't make any more friends because you guys are always breathing down my neck. Which... All I understand... All I is... I... My hands are kind of tied here. I don't know what to really tell you, kid, but... <sighs> Great. I finally make a friend that I can talk to and everything but now just you're gonna take that away from me may Ashley does something that's very surprising she expresses her emotions of how pissed she actually is Ashley punches all might in the gut not the weak point but it's like you're not taking away my friend. Uh. <laughs> you know, why looks like he's like, wait, wait. Uh, why do you look shocked? She's never called me her friend before. Uh, uh. May she actually blushes a bit. He's looking at noticing and trying to call her out, but she's like, Shut up, you're just my guinea pig. All my realizing was the hell's going on. He's trying to think, okay, so how do I, how can I remedy this situation? Pretty much, I got it. <sighs> oh, this is going to take a lot of paperwork. As next day, Izuku wakes up for his train, he knows his, wait, What's that smell? Him seeing a large plume of smoke and like, what? Don't tell me we're under attack. He didn't hear no alarms or anything. Him going to check it out as he sees May. But, what? Huh? Hey, there you are. What took you so long? But, May? Yes. You, you're, I, you're here. Uh huh. Wow, you, you take a minute to actually catch up to what, uh, new events, aren't you? How, Mister Might? What? I want to show you. The, uh, I decided to, uh, to have your friends sent here every so often. Wait, so she doesn't live here, live here? No, I mean, she, she has a place to stay and a workshop to utilize whenever she wants to come and visit you. 
technically she doesn't live here. She has her own home and life to get back to. <clears throat> so, uh, am I noticing a spark of electricity as Izuku does get angry? He's like, really? She had a life before this, right? Uh, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure she has a family. Like, a mother who will be very upset if her kid didn't show up. Without. <sighs> okay. I. I understand. Please, quell your rage. Oh, I really don't want to. This, listen, I'm a dog. I, I, I know just what to do. Him making some calls. Izuku's calming down while he's spending more time with Mei, helping her with inventions, lifting this, putting this there, as well as actually learning quite a bit from her on these past months. As then, All Might has a surprise for him. Izuku thinking it's okay, so was it as he sees Melissa and David? Wait, you're David Shield? That's correct. The You were All Might's sidekick. Uh, wait, you... Oh, I, I told you he was a fan. <laughs> I, I can't believe I... Uh, it's so, it's so nice to meet you, and uh, who, who is this? It's like, oh, this is my daughter. Mother's, as Izuku is pushed away, as May realizes, oh wait, Melissa and David Shield. Her actually fangirling out, which is completely out of character, especially from Izuku's experience with her. Her realizing the scene she's making, not just in front of people who she would consider her heroes or at least role models, and the guy she may or may not like. She instantly backtracks and is like, Nice to meet you. Isuku can't help but laugh. Melissa and David join in. Her being like, I don't get what's so funny. Uh, either way, we have things to do. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, I have inventions to invent. My babies are gonna make themselves. Come with me, Izuku. Wait, excuse me. Huh? You said. You're making babies? With him? Yes. It's kind of our thing. I mean, we've been doing this for how long, Izuku? Several months? As, yes, the shock on Melissa and David's face speak volumes. As Izuku, she does not mean those kind of babies. Him trying to explain is what she means is her inventions. She considers her inventions her babies, her children, because she is their mother. I'm just helping her. Huh. So, yeah, he's pretty much like my baby daddy. Ah! Is... Wow, so bold. And forward. David doesn't know what to really say, but I miss being younger. Izuku is just stunned at how blunt and how May's words can prove to be more problematic than he first anticipated. But then All Might shows up, him pretty much is like, well, did you enjoy your surprise as... Melissa 
and David are pretty much awestruck and kind of like, what the hell? All my looking is he seeing pretty much Izuku fight century robots, but modified. What happened? Is it was there a malfunction? Or is Izuku just easily destroys them? May pretty much. I swear I'll make them strong enough to kill you. I like the enthusiasm. I appreciate it, but I'd rather not die by your hands. I swear. It'll be strong enough to take you on. And you will beg for mercy. And I may give it, or I may take it away. Um. Oh, hi, All Might. Is it just. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, you. We were just testing out some new robots that uh, May fixed up. She just wanted to help me train. Aren't you tired of training? Well, no, not really. That is, was one of your damn complaints. That you were training too much. Well, yeah, I was training with heroes. I mean, you guys have experience. Years beyond my expertise. I mean... Only time I say someone was completely on instinct and that kind of evolved to, to something else. Don't you remember? Uh. Yes, I suppose you're right. As yes, Izuku was pretty much thinking. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. Uh, I guess you should just go to bed, huh? Yeah, I can. But seriously, it's been a long day today. Not really, it's been the same. You just had a lot to really, you know, think about. I mean, it's one thing for your circumstances in which you were a late bloomer then it's another the fact that you were stripped away from your family just to pretty much train your ass off plus you got and the fact that you were heavily supervised until you decided to sneak away and yada 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 this happened that happened you met me and uh, you got found out about what you were doing, and you know, huh? Yeah, a, a lot has uh, happened in my life. I, I'm, I'm a little su surprised. Yeah, doesn't matter. If anything, all I can say is you should really consider the fact that. You not only have the resources to become a great hero, you just don't really utilize them as much as you should. I mean, you have chances to fight the heroes countless times, and that's for training. Your quirk seems to possibly have you near par with All Might. What? David looking... Is you serious? Uh... Yes. Whoa, whoa. How... How strong is this boy? Well, it turns out his strength... Not only, uh... It's impressive. It can also be multiplied. How? Uh, it's this rage fuel thing that occurs if he gets overly angry. Explain. 
have you not seen the video of him pulling it up on whatever account is YouTube on MJ and pretty much saying, is like, wait, that's him? Yeah. Uh, that's terrifying. Yeah, it turns out turning into that actually unlocks something within him, so that was probably his then base strength. You know, the least of transformations multiplies his strength. But he soon learned how to control it better. Oh. That's good. For how long? 30 seconds. What? 30 seconds. To two minutes before he starts getting overly angry. Really? Oh, yes. The multiply is not a joke at all. If anything, it's kind of interesting how it affects him. What do you mean? It seems as though the angrier he gets, or at least the longer he stays in that primal state, the less likely it's going to be for him to come back to his senses. What? Hmm. Let's see. How can I make this sound better? Hmm. Ah. Leave it like this. His uh, mindset is like a clear cup of water. See? You can see everything with complete clarity. But now we take this uh, hmm, dye, this food coloring, and pretend that it's this primal rage thing that he can, sometimes it becomes. Okay. The longer he stays in that state, the more the power starts to slowly fog his judgment until there's pretty much nothing left but a raging beast. So what you're saying is this kid, given enough time, could be trapped within his own mind while his body goes on a complete and total rampage. God knows where. Yes, that's precisely what I'm saying. We... Okay. So, third second thing. That's pretty much... How long he can stay in complete, utter control. Is pretty much what you're saying. Yes. <sighs> He's gonna need to... Really work on his time limit. Uh, I mean, yeah, that is one of the things we're working on for him, but I don't see why that has to do with much. All things considered, no, you you don't get it. Allow me to explain. Let's say you got too hurt from a villain fight. Okay. And you were out commissioned for God knows how long. If this kid were to go on the rampage to a point where you said his base is about where he was when he first used this whole transformation thing, right? Yes. So he is reasonable to assume that his base far exceeds that now, correct? Yes. So, this also means that if this kid is not able to be stopped, either by knocking him unconscious or calming him down, and no heroes are around that are strong enough to take him on, and 
administer the proper you know treatment it stands the reason that whoever is there will be screwed well yes how much damage can you take uh come on I'm your friend you can tell me he can take 25 percent of my power easily 25 yeah <sighs> okay so at least we still have a I guess a chance oh yes I believe so I mean unless he goes through that primal thing excuse me Oh yeah, then it's like 50 or 75% of my powers is going to be uh, required. You're serious? Yep. Oof, believe me, I... If... What caused him to be angry around here? Us. In fact, his first day moving in, it wasn't... The best because he lost his temper when one of the movers actually damaged one of his precious me figurines then started to accidentally nearly ruin his belongings to a point where he's pretty much like you are lucky I don't kill you right now face Uh, I I don't know what to say. What was wrong, David? You're pretty much saying that this kid could be possibly a lot stronger than you if given enough training. Is there any way to make it so he doesn't have to Oh, he wants to be a hero. Really? Oh, yes. I mean, you do go through all this training, and if anything, the only reason why he ever ran away to begin with, wait, he's run away before? Several times, yes. <sighs> okay. How about this? Oh, does he have any family? Yes. Good. Why I bring them here? I was like, no. Why not? You brought this one here? Well, it was actually Yamadoy's request. What? They were looking at Izuku as he's blushing ish. Was what do you mean this was your request? I wanted my mom to have as normal a life as possible. I didn't want her to feel like her son, you know. <sighs> you are too pure for this world, but you also seem to hold incredible power in your uh, grasp, so I guess that evens out. And for the next and last of the five months, it's pretty much Izuku not only trading and because of this newfound power, but also taking a liking to machinery as well as inventing, thanks to the whole influence that is Melissa, May, and David. Am I seeing the progress they're making in strides and support gear thanks to the whole collective? And it's safe to say the hero world is doing very well. When it comes to the whole interest exam, you see who does get a recommendation? Hell, so does May. 
Only thing is, they both turned it down because they just wanted to actually earn their spot. So when it comes to Izuku actually being able to take on zero pointers, yes, he can do that. Does he? Of course he does. Though, yes, he's gathered plenty of villain points. When it comes to hero points, yes, he doesn't know about them, but that doesn't stop him from helping whoever does need it. And when it comes to Oraka being trash, that does happen. The only thing is, Izuku's analytical mind, as well as knowing more about the zero point than, well, the participants. Yeah, he knows which spots to hit and how hard. Oh god, did they come out right, but still, you know what I mean. So yes, it's safe to say he's passed. <laughs> the flying colors. Bongo, knowing that he lost to Izuku, is a bit spiteful, but it is what it is, because he was given a very large portion of humble pie. Though, yes, Izuku does want to be a hero. He's actually gained a pretty decent love for engineering, inventing, and all the like. So he does sign up not only for the hero course, but the support course. That way, hell, he knows May's going to be there. Yeah, he can help her as well as try his own hand in tinkering and whatnot. Which, the first day of UA, it is uh, quite the spectacle. Everything kind of does happen. Is one thing is Aizawa is pretty much very, very suspicious of Izuku's quirk, as well as just wondering. Okay, let's see, he he's done all he needed to do. Let's see how he does during my classes and whatnot. Let's see how he does it around people, and hopefully he doesn't get too angry, and we don't have to put him to sleep again. When it comes to the whole support course, Izuku going straight to the classroom, he does notice an explosion and he already knows that, oh, he's like May, he's already uh, settled in. Power Loader is pissed, seeing that May is very destructive, though she means well. When he sees Izuku, he's like, okay, I got another one. I got another crazy person. Please, tell me I'm wrong. I dare you to tell me I'm wrong. I have no idea if you're wrong or right, but all I know is that I know her. Uh, uh, really? Yep. Okay, so you must be just as crazy as she is. Or at least as ambitious. May quickly says there's no way in hell he's more ambitious than me. Excuse you? Like, you heard me. You are not as ambitious as me, Izuku. Well, I beg to differ. I can be very, very ambitious. You, your only dream is to be a hero. And save people with a smile. Yes, you want to be just like All Might. So does a lot of people. But you can't. I thought we've established this before. Sometimes you gotta be your own hero. Sometimes you're gonna have to, you know, find your own way. Hmm. Yeah. I never really thought about it that much. Yeah, most people don't. It's okay to idolize a hero or whatnot, but still. 
if, if you're just trying to be the next All Might, uh, it's not going to really work. Don't try to be All Might. Try to be you. The best hero you can be. One that can surpass All Might. Huh. Um. You're welcome. Her just getting back to work. Power loader is pretty much. Are you alright? Yeah. It's just. Hmm. Uh, that gives me a lot to really think about. 